All right. We finally made it here. So dark. It's night now. Latex beast needs sleep too. So now is just the time to rush onward. But the wind here is also strong, human. Please take good care. Be absolutely sure not to catch a cold. Don't forget you are just wearing shorts. This place sure is no different from other places. I had thought there would be a more exciting and fresh something behind this door. What? What are you laughing about? I, I wasn't laughing. Okay. Do you say anything? Good evening, have you found the way? I can sense a strong, white latex beast smell coming from the right. <laughs> Their territory might be right there. <laughs> okay, I've never been here before and can't give any useful advice. Apologies. Good evening, how you- okay, this is the same. So this is all new dialogue, so I should actually probably put that in the video. Okay. Let's save this on 77. Okay. So. Some might be confused why this is happening out of order. Like, wait, Draggy, aren't you already past this part? Yes. So, when us patron supporters got the changed update, we received a dev save that starts in Dr. K's room uh, in the area to the right and all the way up to the top. But apparently that completely skips this other sequence that's new, which is kind of strange. I'm kind of surprised Dragonso didn't give us a save right here so we could see all the new content. So it turned out I missed some stuff, and someone said that you can get the male gargoyle transfer if you go into the secret area before going to the Dr. K area. So I'm gonna go up here. I was also told to get dialogue from Port. There it is. Absolutely be careful, human. All right, so let's see if this is true. Am I gonna get the male gargoyle transfer here? Like, goodness gracious, I didn't expect it to be this complicated. So, I'm gonna assume everything else is the same. Can we open this? No. Can we open this? No. The tree interact is probably the same. Layer upon layer of leaves falls onto the ground, forming a dense sheet resembling a kind of soil. Grass is growing on it, and the tree's roots are also embedded into it. Okay. And these lockers are still locked, right? Weld it shut. Alright, so let's see... There's a male gargoyle. Move a bit to the left. There it is! The male, the male gargoyle is real! It exists! Take some interesting poses. Oh no. What's it gonna do? It grabbed my legs and spread them really wide. What's that coming out of my pants? Oh, it's a tail! Wait, is it like my skin colored? Oh my goodness. Oh, it just pulled a snout out of my face. And I've got horns. And I turned to stone. And it's laughing at me. Oh boy. That's terrifying, dude. And we're mounting up here. Human, are you still up there? Yeah. But I don't think I'll be able to come back down ever, Poro. Dang, and the gargoyle is still animated. It's moving. I don't think the female one did that. Oh no, now it wrapped its wings around me. Poor was not even going to be able to see me up here. Oh no. And now let's go ahead and show how the male one is supposed to work. Yeah, yeah, I'll be so careful, Poro. <laughs> you know me, I'm always careful. I never get gooed because I'm not a goozy. All right, one moment. So yeah, this is why I was confused. Remember how I said in the video before that it's supposed to start as a male? Goodness, I just realized their AI behaves the exact same as the silenced enemies. With the diagonals, it's the same exact thing. Yo, silent is actually gonna help me be better at change. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Maybe I could juke the tiger shark a little better. But anyways, let me show you what I mean by how it starts male and then if it reaches the end, it turns female. It's like chess where the character transforms. You can see, now it's the female one. And it moves much faster. And it's got the jiggle jiggle. I'm going to assume the transfer is 100% the same. We're gonna go ahead and confirm this in a moment. Oh no. 
We all know how this ends if you already saw my other video. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Nabaku. And the pants coming off. So the female one makes your pants fall off, the male one makes you get a tail that ruptures out of your pants. The gargoyles just don't like pants, huh? Human, are you still up there? Yep. Oh, that's why you cover it. Now it makes sense. You cover it so Poro can't recognize me if Poro checks up here. Oh, no. Now I understand. It makes sense. Okay. All right, now we can get to the new content. So we saw the male gargoyle and we saw the female gargoyle with Poro involved. Now let's check out what this room is now that it's translated to English and see if anything's changed. So this is when you're entering it for the first time. On the floor, ceiling and all the walls of this room is nothing but pure white goo. This goo is wriggling and dripping. It seems to be crawling in every corner of the room as if it was alive. No, you can be certain that it really is alive. And then there's the elephant in the room. Randomly scattered behemoths merged together with the room in various positions. All of this makes crossing this room one extremely difficult task. I found the room you smelled, Poro. Although it's dangerous, I'm also coming. This is the lair of the white latex beasts, hmm? Or maybe it's nothing more than just a small territory within their lair. What we are stepping on are innumerable living white latex beasts, more than you can ever imagine. Wait, so... The white goo we're walking on is all living white latex beasts? This does not sound safe. So, so this is when the game actually explains it. I had no idea. It's all alive. They are dormant now, but should they wake up, we will be in trouble. Ah, they're dormant. Such a huge volume of white latex beasts, enough to... Enough to directly submerge and digest us. Yeah, we don't want to drown in that. Let alone that. I think it can shatter me in one slap. Oh, the behemoth? Yeah. Let's not mess with that. White latex beasts are my food. I can indeed prey on them, but human. Imagine you had to fight a thousand chickens, or a hundred pigs, or even ten milk buckets. <laughs> Yo, I don't even think I need to worry about just a thousand chickens. I played Legend of Zelda. Just a couple cuckoos is enough of a problem. I, I'm already a little scared to move. Is it really necessary to explore this place? Well, there's nowhere else to go, is there? Can I talk to you? Human, I don't have a great feeling about this place. Briefly investigate and get out fast. Yes, this flawless white makes me very uncomfortable. Hmm? Don't you want to explore this place? Oh, suddenly you want to- <laughs> You want to look into this more, huh? You're not gonna let me leave. Okay, that's the same dialogue. Alright. Yep, you're trapped. Human! No! I, I can't touch these barriers! I could wake them up! Oh, that's your excuse. I was always wondering what was your excuse why you didn't just try to climb over. If you touch them, you'll wake them- I mean, they seem already pretty awake considering they perfectly separated you from me. As it is, you can again only rely on yourself, human. P please, be careful. You just need to reach the end of this room. You have to believe in yourself. You could do it. <sighs> oh boy. Hmm. Okay, okay. I wonder if- Oh, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I meant to go up and then beyond it. Oh no, Ed, it's popping me. <laughs> Not the cool pillar again. Is it the... Oh, it's the old one. Okay, okay, I see. Goodness, all right, let's 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 get around it this time. But I wonder if anything else has changed about this room. Yeah, 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 you can't help me because you're afraid of waking it up. I, get, I almost walked into it again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Careful. Oh, my gosh, dude. Please. I think that's around it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, like, my arm is clipping into it, but no, I'm fine. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Okay, that's the old one, too. I guess I could still put that in the compilation. I don't know. It's technically part of the current game now.
<laughs> all right, all right, let's get back in there. All right, the next attack happens here, right? More, more. Down, down, down. Oh, come on! Uh, maybe we should go up instead of down, actually. Let's go up. Let's go up. I, I, down got walled off. I don't know if I just got extremely unlucky or if I was actually supposed to go up instead of down. I'm not sure. Please, dude. Please. Holy moly. I don't remember this room being this tough. Move. Please. Okay. Uh, I think that's safe. Yeah. Are we good? I don't like that. It was in my way. Okay, I'm starting to hate this room. I... Dude, I think I'm getting garbage luck. Either the difficulty was massively amped up, or I'm getting garbage luck. I did not have anywhere near this much trouble in the Chinese version, dude. So let's try going up this time. Dude, there is no up! The up is blocked! Dude, what do you want me to do? There was literally no solution. There was literally no solution there. Goodness gracious. This is rigged as heck. Yo, I've got a stream to do. This room is not supposed to be this tough. Holy crap. I beat this like first try in the Chinese edition. This is like my 10th attempt on the English version. What on earth? I mean, of course, there's a goo pillar that spawns blocking my path. This feels extremely rigged. Oh my goodness. This is actually really bad. Okay, okay. Please don't spawn a pillar. Please don't spawn a pillar, please. <gasps> it's a miracle! A pillar didn't spawn in front of me for once during that escape sequence. Holy crap, I can't believe it. Hallelujah. All right. I don't remember if there's another chase sequence. There probably is. Rule of threes in gaming, after all. Don't spawn, don't spawn, don't spawn. Okay. Please. Please let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Just go up, 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 go up. All right. <sighs> and then you're in Dr. K's room. Okay. All right, and then from here, it's basically everything that we already know, right? Let's look for clues. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So there we go. Now that's the missing piece of the puzzle. The playthroughs are continued. <laughs> Sorry for all the different changed vids. I really didn't think I was gonna have to go back. I figured since the dev gave us a safe that starts in this room, that there wasn't gonna be anything new before this room. But it turned out that yes, there is new stuff before this room. So I um, glad I could make this video. I'll probably make some shorts of the other stuff, add it to the compilation. And of course, subscribe for more. Thank you all for the support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.